Hey guys, if you've visited a SparkFun booth at any of the events that we have been at in the past year, you probably have one of these. This is an interactive badge we created to help you learn or brush up on your soldering skills that we called the Badger. We are going to be at South by Southwest with free badgers to learn to solder. So if you are in Austin, Texas area from March 10th to the 13th, visit us in the Create Tent outside of the Palmer Event Center. There will be nifty reprogramming stations so you can make your badgers say whatever you would like as well as draw a nifty little picture. But to give you some ideas of what you can do with your badger at home, the creative technologists have each hacked a badger to kind of show you what it can do. For my Badger add-on kit, I decided to stick with some simple components to build the kind of circuit that I like to build. It's a simple noisemaker. The eight position dip switch represents eight beats which it scans over in repetition. You can change whether a note is on or off during that section of the beat by changing the position of the switch. Each of the potentiometers changes one of the parameters of the sound. One for tone, one for the tempo, one for the duration of each note, and then one to introduce a little bit of randomness to the notes so that you can get a little bit of musicality. The code I've included with this is pretty straightforward, but if you want to tweak it, you can make it do all sorts of things, and I look forward to seeing you guys at South by Southwest and seeing what you do with it. I'm a big fan of video games, so my kit revolved around making a gaming kit out of the Badger Hack. The kit includes a breadboard, a joystick, a couple of buttons, and some wires, and there's some example code online for making the classic game Breakout. If you're not familiar with Breakout, it's played by moving a paddle down at the bottom back and forth while a ball bounces around and attempts to knock out lights on the upper part of the screen. Your job is to break all of the lights out. This add-on kit is great for making your own games, and we've started you off with Breakout, but I'm curious to see what other games you could create, like a Tetris clone or Snake. For my kit, I've gone with the basic idea of sensors. There's two analog sensors in it. The first is a soil moisture sensor, and the second is a temperature sensor. When you've got everything hooked up, it displays the temperature and the soil moisture of whatever you're plugging your moisture sensor into. Mine is displaying the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. You can also put it in degrees Celsius. We've had a lot of interest in the Badgers and people asking if we sell them on the website for people who haven't gone to events, and now we do. This is the new improved Badger that we sell on the site called the Red Stick, and it's even better. The Red Stick has even more features than the Badger and it works with more Arduino libraries and peripherals because it runs at five volts and 16 megahertz. And just like the Badgers, they've got a USB plug-in right at the end that goes straight into your computer. You can see these and buy the kits for these projects at South by Southwest from March 10th to the 13th. We look forward to seeing you there. Happy, Happy hacking! hacking.